Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Excess Magical here. Uh, doing a video for Teen Turtle. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so um, I decided to do one today. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to show you today is how to fix a soft bricked uh, cell phone. Basically, this applies to pretty much any cell phone out there uh, that has a custom recovery installed. Um, what a soft brick is, is a phone that's stuck in boot loop. Um, or will not get past recovery. Pretty much you can get to recovery, but you can't boot the ROM. Um, <clears throat> uh, a lot of people uh, freak out when this happens, especially people who are new to Android or new to rooting their phones. Um, they're like, oh my god, I broke my phone, it's no good, I gotta get a new one. No, you don't have to do that. As long as you, as long as you can get to recovery, or um, you'll be fine. If you can't get to recovery, say you lost recovery, uh, you cannot get to it. Uh, if you have an HTC or a Samsung, uh, Samsung, you have you know you have your <clears throat> your Odin, which you can reflash your ROM with that one via PC, or with HTC you have uh, the bootloader. As long as you can get your bootloader, you're fine. You can push in recovery, you can push your stock recovery and RUU, and go ahead to 100% stock if you want. Um, I'm not going to show you that today. What I'm going to show you today is basically how to break your phone. You know, so I'm going to soft uh, brick mine. And then I'll show you how to fix that. It's very simple, you know. All you need is a computer. Um, if you don't have a computer, make sure you have like a backup of the ROM on your cell phone, uh, stuff like that. Um, if you flash, if you have a ROM on your phone, say you have an open source ROM, and you flash like a sense kernel or a kernel that's not made for your phone, but you flash it anyway, um, and you could not get past <clears throat> your your splash screen, you know, when you first start your phone up, um, this would fix that too. Um, so let's get started. Let me go ahead and just soft break my phone here. I'm going to open up, a, let me see here, ES File Explorer. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete some files, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I have ROMs, uh, I have ROM already in my, in my uh, SD card. Just in case something happens, you know, you're on the road or something, you break something, you always have, it's nice to have a backup in there. Um, and Android, yeah, I have those too, but they're not 100%. They can fail a verification, the century verification. Um, I have not yet had that happen to me, but I've seen it before. Um, so don't rely on your backups too much because they are not a fail safe. Um, but a, a ROM on your phone is the best way to go if you break it. So what we're going to do is. I'm going to uh, the phone storage. I'm not going to flash nothing to, to break it that way, but it basically applies to the same thing. You flash something, you break it, or something like that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, I don't know, I'm going to system, framework, and I'm just going to start deleting stuff. Because this is definitely going to break it. So, let's go ahead and, let me see what else I can break here. Remove, oh, frame of jar. Yeah, that's going to make it not boot at all. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that stuff. Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and reboot it. Alright, let's just do this. It's hard to reset this thing, man. If you have a phone without removal uh, battery, you hold the power button down. Uh, HTC, and you hold the power button down for five seconds, the lights flash at the bottom and it turns off. Alright, so the phone's turned back on now. But it looks like the phone. Okay, so the phone's trying to boot, but it won't boot though. Okay, so the phone's not booting, of course, it's still in the, in the boot screen. Um, so this is, this is a soft brick right here. It's not bricked, it's not broken, it's just not going to boot, which is basically a soft brick. Alright, so hold down your power button. There goes your lights flashing. Now, as soon as you do this, hold volume down and hold the power. Okay? When this happens, you're going to get into the uh, bootloader. Right there. Now, when you get to this screen, <clears throat> you have fast boot recovery, factory reset, clear storage, sim lock, and so on. Um, say by chance you did a factory reset by accident, all it's going to do is wipe your SD card um, and format your phone. Uh, this will also soft break your phone 
in worst case scenario, all you do is flash new ROM, flash new recovery, whatever you gotta do, and go from there. Um, basically, I'm just gonna show you how to fix a quick soft brick though. Uh, this is the most common way, to, you know, the most common soft brick is when you break your, your ROM. So, um, select recovery, you wanna see the splash screen again. Uh, this is a T1 recovery. Um, if you have a 1X, this is recommended. Um, but use what's made for your phone. Don't you know? Don't go by what people say. If it's if it's recommended for your phone, go with that one. The best one that, that suits you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I have recovery here. Let's say um, I don't have nothing on the phone. There's no backups. There's no ROM. Okay, what do you do? All right, well here's what you do. Take your SD, your uh, USB cable. Go ahead and plug it into your phone. If you have uh, Team Win or you have CMW. What you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna mount the system. I mean, mount the SD card. I'm sorry. Um, if you're in Team Win, what you want to do to properly mount it, um, you want to unmount catch and unmount SD from right here because this is mounted in this in the phone right now. And you go ahead and hit mount USB. All right. Now with that mounted, you're gonna go into Windows or Linux or wherever you have as your operating system. Um, you don't go to Internet Explorer or whatever you have. Download the ROM you were just running. Um, Redownload it or download something different, whatever you want to install again. Um, save it to your desktop. Alright, so I downloaded the ROM. I had it right here on my desktop. Uh, my case is my uh, my open source ROM. Um, what you want to do, open up your folders and you want to look for your cell phone, okay? Which is the 1X, in my case, is the 1X. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to copy the ROM and you want to paste it on your phone storage okay once that's done your your ROM is on the, on the phone storage what you want to do is you want to properly unmount the SD because if you don't um, it doesn't always mess anything up but it can corrupt the blocks on the SD or uh, corrupt your files um, so you want to go down there to your time if you're on Windows and you want to look for the little USB icon with a check mark on it. it says safety removal hardware and inject media click that look for your phone and go ahead and hit eject when it's safe to remove you can unplug your phone like so hit uh, unmount go ahead and mount the USB again I mean I'm sorry the uh, SD card again go to install and select the ROM you were just using let me see you have to add GF to that one okay so go ahead and install your ROM. Basically, you're just going to go through the same setup again, but you're not going to lose any data. You don't have to wipe nothing. Uh, I don't wipe catch or anything, um, so and uh, it's, it's going to be fine. So I go ahead and let this install, and the phone should boot back up just fine. All right, ROM is installed. Um, if you want, you can wipe your catch and delve it, just like that. And then go ahead and hit reboot system. All right. Phone booted back up as you can see, it's working fine. Um, my data is still here. All my apps are still here. So we are recovered from a soft brick, and that is how you fix your phone after being a soft bricked. This is Excess Magic with Team Nocturnal. If this video helped you in any way, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them under this video, and I'll be uh, more than happy to answer them. Thank you.